Good day, this is the uh, latest update in the uh, tropics. Right now we're watching two systems, Typhoon Nanmadol or Bagumina, and also Tropical Storm uh, Talas. It's the 25th of August 2011, 08 Zulu, 4 p.m. Philippine time, 5 p.m. Japan time. We have lots of things to cover today, so uh, we begin with, uh, with Typhoon Nanmadol now. Uh, still inside the Philippine Air Responsibility, just east of Luzon. Uh, with the local name of Mina, it was last located 280 kilometers north northeast of uh, Vira Catanduan is here, also 300 kilometers uh, east of Casiguran Aurora, as of 11 a.m. today, Pagasa, it's raised signal number one for uh, the provinces of Northern Aurora, Isabela, and also Cagayan for the possible effects of, of tropical storm conditions within the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. You can see maximum sustained winds have increased now to 140 kph, gusting to 195, moving westward at 10 km per hour, ominously westward, uh, seems to be towards the, uh, towards the uh, eastern Luzon, but uh, um, no worries here uh, in, in terms of, of direct landfall, because computer models uh, do bring that model eventually to the north uh, for the, uh, the next uh, we should see that turn to the north within the next 12 to 24 hours so but again you can see the outer rain bands here and also the very nice uh, CDO central dense overcast and you can see the eye here still slightly cloud filled at the lower levels but you can kind of see that stage of stadium effect now beginning to uh, be visible in these uh, the satellite images and uh, showing this this uh, much wider view of the of the storm here we have your very nice circulation again the CDO and this outer rain band is now actually beginning to affect the eastern seaboard uh, particularly Cagayan and uh, Isabela and also extending as far south as here towards the uh, Bicol region also towards the uh, Polilio Islands and also here in Catan Catanduanes in terms of the image here you can actually now see the uh, huge circulation and cloud formation from tropical storm Talas. Now, uh, again, this uh, Talas is actually still north and near the Marianas Islands, but you can see the clouds beginning to spill their way towards the Philippine Air Responsibility. So, Nanmadol right now, in terms of size and, and um, scale, pales in comparison to tropical storm Talas, which we will discuss later on. But uh, in terms of strength, uh, Nanmadol is definitely a very, very strong typhoon here. Uh, so I said 140 kph and you can see this infrared image kind of confirms the eye that we've seen earlier you can see those uh, uh, convective activity still very strong around that eye and you can kind of see the um, the clouds have kind of warmed a little bit over the past six hours but uh, we do expect this to to begin to intensify again uh, tonight you can kind of see the intense, most intense convection still remaining to the south of the eye so still some uh, some further intensification will is likely for this uh, for this storm also showing you the water vapor imagery here you kind of see the outflow here uh, across the this again very expansive and very uh, well organized CDO now for uh, for Nanmadol and in those westward and south uh, southerly outflow channels a poleward outflow channels actually worsened and degraded a little bit uh, due to the Tatsal moving away from the set, uh, from the storm, but still some outflow here. Uh, surely this this storm will still continue to intensify, and that's what the models are showing right now. You can see this, this forecasts for intens intensity. And you can see the middle track seems to be around 100 knots to 110 knots within the next two to three days, and certainly you can see this ocean heat content very high just east of Luzon and uh, Nanmadol is expected to track into that very warm waters for the next 24 to 36 hours uh, very likely this could intensify perhaps into a major category 3 typhoon by uh, Saturday and also we're not counting the possibility of uh, rapid intensification uh, later tonight and into tomorrow depends on the uh, conditions but again very warm sea surface temperatures and also wind shear is still around 10 knots so still allowing this to certainly become a very significant typhoon and also very significant tr uh, threat for the uh, areas that will be affected down the road here which we will go to now in terms of the forecast tracks the the areas again I told you from Taiwan all the way to southern Japan needs to certainly watch the storm 
And again, the west continued westward movement certainly put eastern Luzon at high risk of seeing at least some tropical storm gusts, also very rough waves, surfs, and uh, storm surges, definitely. And uh, I think the most vulnerable areas will be northeastern Cagayan, especially Santa Ana, and also the Babuigan group of islands and Batanes group of islands for the next two to three days. And uh, I commend Pagasa for racing again that signal num signal warning number one for these provinces to definitely warn the people I uh, in advance. And yeah, turning on the computer models, and sh showing you the still diverging from the computer models we have UK Met actually turning this towards the Luzon Strait. Very unlikely, but still we need to watch this one. Uh, but uh, again, the consensus right now takes this not takes Nanmadol to the north and then perhaps into the Miyako Islands perhaps actually passing very near Okinawa by uh, late uh, early next week and this is also the forecast for Talas as you can see uh, moving northward um, generally to the north and not affecting any sort of uh, major land areas according to these models showing you nogaps here by uh, this is by around um, Tuesday next week and you can see this is Nan Madol, very strong typhoon just southeast of Okinawa by Tuesday. You can also see here Talas developing into a strong tropical storm. Uh, computer models are not really uh, actually uh, very ag aggressive in terms of intensification for Talas. They're more on, uh, on the, uh, aggressive on, on Nan Madol in terms of intensi intensity but still in terms of track you can see Nogaps taking Talas very close to southern Japan, particularly to the uh, Tokyo and Kanto region here of, of Honshu. Also, I want to show you this uh, Euro model. This is a uh, forecast uh, around um, 160 hours so by next week here, moving actually just west of uh, Naha, around 200 kilometers, I would say. Again, this is passing very, this is going to be passing very close to the Miyako Islands according to Euro model and you can also see here Euro model uh, developing a very big circulation sort of monsoon jar out of uh, tropical storm Talas and also f uh, ECMWF actually moving this towards uh, southern Japan as well I'll show you that later but again in terms of circulation very huge for Talas but not in terms of intensity here the strongest one and uh, the one that needs to be watched really in my opinion would be uh, tropical st uh, typhoon and model here and in terms of uh, computer uh, agencies they have really backed down away from the direct cyclone interaction of Fujiwara effect that we have been uh, talking about for almost three days now you can see JMA actually just bringing Nanmadol generally to the north towards the Miyako Islands perhaps taking this towards uh, or very near J uh, Okinawa by later next week also showing you this is from JTWC and this is their uh, zero zero Zulu forecast and you can see also a northward track but uh, JDWC actually forecasting this to turn northeast much earlier than JMA for JMA's forecast here you can see tra tracking this perhaps south of Okinawa again by m by the middle of next week here as for Pagasa, Pagasa has become actually the uh, western outlier here tracking Nan model very close of Cagayan and also very close of uh, Basco Batanes and you can also see by uh, this is Pagasa thinks this will pass very close to the east of Taiwan there so still lots of differences among agencies as well as computer models so still needs to be watched but again as I said all the way from Taiwan to Japan needs to uh, need to watch this very very closely here now moving on to uh, tropical storm Talas here very quickly just uh, showing the location here 700 kilometers northwest of Guam maximum sustained winds continue to increase here 75 kph gusting to 95 moving at, nor at northwest at 20 kph it's I it is interesting to know that JMA is the only one classifying this as a tropical storm um, need to know that uh, GTWC is still remaining uh, Talas as a tropical depression actually so still some uh, some discrepancies between the forecast agencies but as you can see in this uh, wide view this visual satellite image very big circulation and uh, formation for uh, Talas and you can see the uh, circulation somewhere right around here again 700 kilometers northwest of Guam so very away uh, I mean sorry very far away from Marianas but you can see those cloud formation very wide coverage certainly going to be very big in terms of winds according to the computer models you can also see here the uh, infrared image 
uh, one thing that is lacking for uh, for Talas here is the cloud formation to the northwestern quadrant. You can see the banding sort of wrapping around the to the uh, south and eastern side of the storm, but you can see the northwestern half still remaining empty. But you can see this convection very active right over the center here. So expect this as soon as it wraps around this probably see a very large CDL forming out of this one and if this could become a typhoon probably going to be very large and powerful as well here take also note uh, take note also of the expansive wind field and storm surges that this will that this storm will generate so obviously even if it's very far away from the Marianas those inflow and feeder bands still bring scattered showers and also those high surf kicking up there in the uh, Marianas Islands just a quick uh, microwave image showing you here from the uh, Naval Research Lab, just showing you the low level banding here. As I said earlier, we have very vigorous banding to the south and east of the storm, but is I uh, I still need uh, still want this to to see those those banding to wrap around this low level circulation center here and to really have uh, uh, we classify this as a very strong typhoon. But in terms of of forecast here. Uh, this is again the Euro model or the ECMWF. This is their 192 hour forecast. So by uh, Friday next week, September 2nd, you can see Euro forecasting a very big cyclone, Munsunja actually, developing and uh, out of Talas. And you can also see here Nan Madol actually moving into the uh, island of Kyushu. It's a very strong typhoon, perhaps a cut 3 according to the Euro model here. As for Nan, uh, as for Talas, actually just a bit weaker according to the Euro, but still a very strong typhoon. Perhaps a Cat One, uh, moving eastward. Um, sorry, moving northward, east of Honshu region. Begin showing you this wind field map. You can see this around. Perhaps tropical storm force winds will still be felt all the way into Fukushima. So we all know what happened there. So still uh, very very uh, threatening according to this one. But again, this is still too far out to really uh, pinpoint the the uh, exact track of these uh, of these uh, storms but uh, just showing you the scenario the different scenario and what is possible and what could happen uh, down the road so uh, again if you are living living uh, in Taiwan and all the way to Japan you really need need to to watch this storm showing you the forecast here for Talas here finally from JMA um, in terms of int intensity, Jamie is actually very aggressive in terms of Talas's uh, intensity here, uh, forecasting this actually to become a typhoon in uh, about two days or less. So you can see Jamie very aggressive and good thinking. Talas could become a very major threat to Japanese coastline down the road, as you can see, ge moving generally to the north. And this is my forecast. Uh, personal forecast for uh, for both systems not a uh, an official one so please always keep in mind it's not an official forecast we have Talas and Nanmadol here you can see by Sunday generally moving northward perhaps the closest point of approach to Cagayan will be around Saturday morning around uh, 200 kilometers perhaps uh, east of Cagayan so once again also showing you the intensity so by that time we do expect Nanmadol to become a major category 3 typhoon I'm not aggressive uh, very con uh, I'm actually conservative for Talas's intensity here just peaking at around category 1 typhoon uh, according to some computer models but again I won't discount Talas becoming a cat 3 a cat 2 as well down the road here but again showing the this is not official and this could change forecast could change so if you are in one of these areas that I've told you about uh, need to really monitor this closely just before I end this forecast I just want to show you again the f uh, development for uh, Hurricane Irene now a category 3 typhoon with winds of 100 knots um, lashing down the Bahamas here west uh, southeast of Florida moving to the northwest uh, not going to be a threat to the Florida uh, coast, but uh, still going to be kicking up some surf there. Actually, if you can see, uh, we have here National Hurricane Center's forecast. This will probably be a major category, major uh, hurricane into Hat Hat Cape Hatteras, and perhaps could become a major player 
a very big threat for the nor northeast, particularly the New York metropolitan area by, uh, by this weekend. So that is the forecast for today. We'll have another one update. Uh, stay safe out there. Bye.